time for another unboxing. This time it's Behringer Ultra Patch Pro PX3000, which is a 48.3 mode balanced patch bay. And it takes the jacks, not the XLRs. Um, I haven't had a patch bay for a long time. I've only had one before. I've always tried to avoid using them to uh, get the best sound quality. But I can exist without it. I need to patch in effects to things. And the, the beauty of this is you can you can have a connection in and out, but then you can also break into that connection on the front panel. So you can leave things connected and break in. It's a lovely, lovely way to do it. Um, reasonable price as well. Let's see what we've got. I don't think there's going to be much else in here other than the unit. But I thought I'd do an unboxing anyway. So, quick look at the box. And you can pause that if you need to read anything on there. First impressions, actually, it's really heavy for uh, just little switches. It's, it's heavy. I mean, it is a passive unit, so... And of course, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, I mean, we all think that having the switches on the top is uh, not the greatest idea because obviously, it, well, for most people, including myself, it would be in a rack. So you want to make your mind up before you put it in. But if you look at the unit, I mean, there is no space to put that anywhere else. So I guess they could have possibly have thought about bringing out a three unit, uh, sorry, two unit version and have all the switches above. But I guess keeping it down to one unit, there's the compromise, the switches are on top. So you've got normal at the top, through and half normal. Fantastic. There we go. So do you want to look a bit closer? Get a sticker, there, aren't you? Um, something printed in Japanese. If you need additional information, please contact the music group company. All right. And By the look of it, Chinese, Japanese. Oh no. Yep, that's Japanese. Chinese. And English, Spanish, French, Dutch. What's PT? Portuguese? I'm guessing. Anyway, you've got a nice. More than one of these newspaper unfold type things. I've actually got a, a nice proper sized instruction manual. It says about the warranty, claim for damages. Another language. Tells you about the controls. Through mode is for sound modules or playback devices that only have output signals. You can save space by routing the left and right outputs to one channel, jacks A and B, of the patch bay. More typical setup is to connect the left and right outputs to the adjacent channels 
Jack's A and A, and then connect another device to Jack's B and B in the same channels. This configuration also allows you to position the inputs and outputs of the effects devices, compressors, equalizers, etc., directly above each other. Okay, so that's through mode. Half normal mode is uh, the rear A and B jacks of the channel are connected together. Unlike normal mode, the connection between the rear panel jacks is not disabled when a quarter inch plug is inserted into jack A on the front panel. This allows you to take the signal from a mixer's channel strip into parallel without interrupting the signal of the path on the channel strip. Like normal mode, the connection between the rear panel jacks is disabled when a quarter inch plug is inserted into jack B of the front panel. When quarter inch plugs are inserted into jacks A and B on the front panel, the front jacks will be connected separately to the corresponding rear jacks. This is called input break and is used mainly to insert an effect or processor into the signal path. And normal mode, normal mode, the rear AB jacks of the channel are connected together. The connection between the rear jacks is disabled when you insert a cable into jack A or B of the front panel. The example above top road channels example above there. Is that focusing? The example above, top row channels 1 to 4 are the outputs of a keyboard and a MIDI sound module. They are connected in this example configuration to the input channels 1 to 4 on the mixer. Channels 5 and 6 are from the subgroup outputs of mixer connected. This example configuration the inputs of a computer audio card. Audio sequencer software records the music signals directly into the hard disk of a computer. Channel 7 and 8 connects the sound card outputs to the two track inputs of the mixer. Since the rear panel jacks are connected together in the normal mode, position 1, the subgroup signals can be recorded directly onto the PC and played back via the two track input of the mixer. That's for playback and monitoring without a single patch cable having to be plugged in. In this way you can build up a basic configuration for your studio which can be easily modified by simply patching signals via the front panel jacks position 2 or by feeding in external signals via patch cables position 3. You could for example connect the keyboard signal to channel 3 and 4 by patching 1A to 3B and 2A to 4B. So before wiring your studio it is advisable to identify the connections that will be used most frequently and set them up as your basic configuration. One above the other on the patch bay, then you will have a clear overview of all the connections and still be flexible. So it, it's a really flexible unit. I mean, the last patch bay I had was just mirrors, just the back was the front, so you just connected and patched across. So, uh, well, there we are, that's it, that's the unboxing. It's a solid unit, I must say that. It's heavy. So there we are, Ultra Patch Pro, model PX3000, multifunctional 48.3 mode, balanced patch bay. Thanks for watching.